Hey guys, and welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews, and today I'm doing another Star Trek uh, two-pack. Um, this is actually my first Star Trek Deep Space Nine two-pack, or Deep Space Nine figure in general, that I'll be reviewing. Um, this is the uh, Chan Chancellor Galron and Lieutenant Commander Worf. Um, I do have a Worf from the Next Generation series, um, but of course in the Next Gen he had his uh, yellow outfit. Um, and the style is a little bit different as well. I mean, the, the next gen outfits were a little different. I'm so cool to have them in that red. <clears throat> and then to add another clean on to my group, got a Chancellor Galron. Comes with some pretty cool accessories, some different hands and weapons and stuff. Very cool. On the back, pretty much a generic card. <clears throat> it's got a lot of different. Uh, stuff. This is actually pretty cool. This is the uh, Borg Series 1, which was uh, cancelled. They actually didn't come out with these, which was really disappointing. As well as the Voyager figures got cancelled. I really wanted them to make those. Um, but uh, it was made by Diamond Select in 2009. But uh, let's take a quick break, and we'll get these two out of the package. Alright guys, and we are back with uh, Galron and Worf. Um, they come with actually quite a few accessories. I'm pretty stoked about that. That's pretty cool. And um, first off, it comes with a uh, back lift. Um, very awesome. Very nice looking. It's actually kind of sharp. The points are actually pretty sharp for being plastic. Um, it's got the nice handles on there. Very cool. Um, you get like a uh, clean on uh, cup. Drinking cup. Or mug or whatever you want to call it. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure what this blade's called, but some sort of a clean on blade. Very cool. Unique style there. And uh, this little clean on dagger, which is very awesome. I always really like these things. It's very cool. A uh, phaser rifle. It's very nice. Morph, you know, used the phaser rifle quite a bit in the Star Trek shows. And uh, this crazy little bottle, some kind of alcohol or something. Pretty cool. And uh, Galron has a pair of alternate hands. So, uh, focus in on these. There we go. <clears throat> it's kind of cool. It's got like the, the knuckle spikes. But uh, he's got two fists, which is pretty cool. He's got two. Um, one open hand and then just a open palm hand. <clears throat> But uh, onto the figures, very awesome. And that's actually not even all the accessories. I'm missing a gun. Hold on one second. Where'd that thing go? All right. Well, that almost sucked. Almost threw those two away. But I was missing two accessories. <laughs> Galron also comes with this uh, little focus, a clean-on pistol. It's pretty cool looking. Nice paint detail. Um, he has a holster that it'll fit into as well, which I'll show you up close in a second. And uh, Worf also comes with a uh, Type 2 phaser. It's very cool. Yeah, those things are packaged like on the side of the packaging in a very slim spot, and I just totally missed them. But I remembered seeing them, so that was lucky. Anyways, on to Worf. See Worf, very nice. Um, seems to be an all new head sculpt from the uh, next gen one. I'm looking at it right now. Looks a little bit different, but uh, very cool. He's got his little uh, ponytail thing going on. Very cool. And of course his uh, sash. It's very nice looking. Uh, I'm not sure if it comes off or not. Um, you might be able to move it off just off of his arms, but there's no latch or anything to get it off. Um, there's a little logo. He's got the pips on his shirt right there. It's very cool. And then just as a red and black outfit. Which looks very awesome. So articulation on this guy is going to be standard for all the Star Trek figures, but uh, like a rocking head goes side to side, up and down, then of course he swivels. Um, the hair does kind of hinder the swivel a little bit though, but not bad. And he has a ball joint on his shoulder, goes in and out, back and forward. A swivel at the upper bicep, single jointed elbow, swivel at the waist. 
or at the wrist, a swivel at the waist, um, just a forward joint in the hip. It doesn't go back very far and it doesn't go out. Um, single joint at the knee and a up and down pivot at the foot. I really like the pants. I like how they do this with a lot of the Star Trek figures. They got the pants just kind of over the shoes, which looks pretty cool. And uh, Galron's going to have basically the same articulation, but uh, we'll take a look at him. Head sculpt's very nice on him. Looks just like it did in the show. His hair. Um, so naturally his head's not going to be articulated because um, the hair is very like, closely molded to it and it's, it's a harder plastic, so his head doesn't move. Um, very cool outfit. His sash is movable. But again, it doesn't come off. And um, here's this holster which you can put as a pistol in. It's very cool. And uh, you can see he has an open hand, like a weapon hand, and a just like an open palm hand, which uh, I just popped out. You can see, <clears throat> it's just how you change them out, pop the pegs out, and put the other one in. Very nice outfit. So it's even got the little spike on the boots, which I think is cool. So very cool. I'm trying to get. Uh, bunch of Klingons, which they didn't make too many, but they made a few. Um, but definitely a cool two-pack to have, and, uh, you know, got to uh, build up my Deep Space Nine figures. So that is Worf and Gowron. Thanks for checking them out, guys.